Alright, here I might actually post this video. I have three videos in backlog right now at, in my computer. However, and I got a couple of things I want to talk about, and I'm probably going to talk about the other one on my computer so I can edit it and make it look all nice and good. But this is something I had to talk about immediately. And now that I already forgot, in the course of me going all the way to my car, that is shocking. I am out of the car. This is what happens when you're completely out of the whole situation. Anyways, uh, uh, I feel like I was thinking about this earlier. Oh, that's one of these. That's what I want to talk about. So, here's the thing. When it comes to, uh, I'm pretty sure I've, I've talked on this subject before, but when it comes to, uh, uh, watching YouTube videos or even looking on Facebook, Facebook, of all things, uh, I get annoyed. Whenever I find that, like, okay, so I am obviously, I, I, I'm 38, I'm a single heterosexual male. I love the female form, okay? Okay? Oh, hold on. I am a 38-year-old, single, cisgendered, heterosexual male. For my trans people who might get upset about the fact that I didn't add the cis. I shouldn't really care about that. Anyways, like I was saying, so I like the female form. Ah, fuck it. I like the female form. And when it comes to the female form, yeah, I'll be scrolling on Facebook and I will see oh very attractive female, especially when on those reels and all that stuff. A very attractive female in my feed, okay? Like, I'm not following this person, which is still wondering to me, like, how, like, how Facebook has changed over the years. It used to be you have to know the, per the, the people you may know or anything that will pop up on your news feed is anything that most, <clears throat> that, you are, uh, it, it, anything that will show up on your news feed usually would be about people that you already knew, or friends, posting something, or uh, you um, following a certain, uh, a, certain a, a certain group or a certain like uh, entertainment entity, and now it's like, hey, look. You can find all the things, and you don't have to follow it. <sighs> I hate that mentality. That's the reason why I, I slowly stopped using Twitter or X, however you want to say it. Because, okay, I got two different Xs, okay? I got one safe for work and one NSFW, if you know what I'm talking about. Why? Because the NSFW one was my original one. And, well, we all know that if you get on X just randomly... Woo -wee. Elon called it X for a reason. It became triple X dot com. Technically, because I mean, for goodness sake, if you are, if, if you even join the platform, okay, even if you're of, even if you're 16, Elon Musk, you need to do something about it. You're going to see a lot of nudity. Anywho. Um, woo! So, I have a stay for work one. And I, I, I hate the fact that they keep showing you things of people you don't follow. Uh, TikTok is the same thing. Like, you used to have it where it would be the main feed. And then people that you may follow. And then they start adding into the following thing. Because usually I would just go straight to the, hey, only people I follow. Because I didn't, 
you know, I'm not going to keep following all these different random people. I might follow some friends and all that stuff. Social media was initially made for connecting with friends long distance. Now it is no longer that. It is advertisement. Anyways, like I was saying, this and the main reason why it's now advertisement, the fact that it's now advertisement, it's the main reason for this video. Goodness gracious. So I see this fine, fine woman. She's not even like, you know, dressing provocatively. She's just trying on some new jeans. And I was like, oh, I'm going to follow. And it said her name was this, right? And I go to her page because I want to look at the full category, you know, the full catalog. And lo and behold, there's not that many pictures. And I was like, okay, well, you know, some people put, like, make a random thing. She's not following that many people. Okay, cool. I get it. It's more of a following page. But I also noticed that it's saying that Jesus and a musician are band. I'm like, hmm, I would love to hear some of your music. So I'll go to look up this woman on Google. And lo and behold, when I see the Instagram, because there's no Instagram, uh, there's no Instagram in her bio or on her Facebook page or anywhere on her Facebook page. There's no Instagram link. So, of course, I'm sitting there like, that's odd because both women, especially cute, what looks like a young woman, I think she's like in her like mid-twenties. She happened, you know, most of them have an Instagram. They love their Instagram. They will post everything on their Instagram. I, I'm, I'm just a man. I'll work a whole bunch. I'm about to go out and DoorDash. I do not post much on my Instagram. In fact, I have it so that if I post a picture on my Facebook, it immediately posts to my Instagram. That's how I'm getting any kind of like pictures on my Instagram. Anyways, like I was saying. So, uh, uh, so yeah, so I, I go looking up this girl on Google, okay? And I find multiple, like a couple of different Instagrams with that name. None of those Instagrams are her. There's a real ver there's a real um insert name and then there's a, a name with you know the extra numbers and all that stuff. And I was like, yeah, none of them look like this girl. So I, I but I was like, I'm not gonna go deep, delve further into this. Mind you, I saw this on Saturday, okay? Cut to yesterday. <laughs> Cut to yesterday afternoon, or yesterday uh, last night, and lo and behold, I see I, I, I see a picture pop up again, and it's like it, uh, from that same girl. And I was like, "Oh my!" And I looked at the page again. And I was like, "Wait a minute, okay, now I really want to research this." Now I am not a stalker. By any means, okay. If a girl tells me where she lives, like if I give, I give them my uh, a couple of my friends rides home. Guess what? I immediately erase the <laughs> address from my head unless I'm going to their house over and over and over again. Their address is erased from my head immediately after I drop them off. It's not until like, and even if. Me and them stop talking as friends and all that stuff. I may remember where their house is, but I never, I avoid it with a passion, okay? And I never want to know where my exes live, okay? Especially if they moved or if they got into a different relationship. I don't want to know where they live, okay? I'm not going to go out of my way to go see these girls. Anyways, like I was saying, so, but... I decided to research this thing. Now I looked at her, her her pictures, her reels, and I noticed that most of the reels are basically look more like TikTok videos, but you can't see any of the, you know, where the TikTok name is at all in the video. Somebody obviously edited it out. So I was like, okay. But they left the freaking comments. In the comments, there's the names of the person who made the comment. You know, when the, it's a reply video, you know, it's a reply video. So, of course, I'm looking at the comment names. And I have, and I, I use two of them, okay? Two separate ones. Now, 
the first one, I couldn't find this person whatsoever, obviously. The second one, I was able to find this person. Now, granted, I didn't think I would... I, 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 obviously, you can't, like, just figure out somebody from somebody's thing. But then I was like, wait a minute, okay. How about I check the follower? The following. Because 90% of people on TikTok are going to follow whoever they comment. Whoever they put a comment on a post to. I'm just saying. I'm not that type of person. I'll, if I see something, well, actually, yeah, I tend to follow the person I make a comment to. So I look through her follow. So I look through that that person who commented on one of her uh, commented on one of her videos for her to reply to it. I looked on that person's thing, scrolled it down, and I finally found the real person, the real girl to it. Right? Okay, I'm gonna start driving now. I finally found the real girl to it, and immediately unfollowed, possibly blocked the original Facebook account that I had seen, okay? Because uh, the, the real girl had a link to her Instagram or her TikTok, of course, uh, and she had um, a link to her, well, she had a link. She had one of those links, if you know what I'm talking about. And I was like, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, but the main focus is, I'm trying, the, the main reason why I brought that up, is, that story up, was because of the fact that, look, I'd rather focus, I, you know, if I'm going to give my attention, my follow, my, my support type thing, or, you know, if I think that somebody deserves some extra kick, you know, that little cash flow or that attention, I want to give it to the actual person who it is, right? Um, another similar thing happened on TikTok a couple of years ago. A friend of mine had um, reacted to or, or stitched or um, brought up like a video of uh, a certain YouTube creator. A YouTube creator I love, by the way. Uh, and I've done a reaction video too on this very channel when I realized I don't want to do reaction videos anymore because I, I feel like it's a shitty way to get views. And my friend, but he kept posting it on his TikTok and he reposted some of them. And I was like, oh, these are freaking dope. He even posted it on his Facebook. I was like, oh, yeah, these are dope. And I immediately followed the person who was posting these TikTok videos. And I was like, wait, so most of them are like in different parts. Maybe they have a full YouTube video. Maybe they have a full YouTube account. So I go look on the YouTube account. There's nothing. It has nothing to do with the videos that they were posting on TikTok. Turns out it was to the actual, you know, the actual YouTuber. Uh, CJ the Champ. And I wasn't going to say his name, but I had to say it this time. CJ the Champ's videos. Immediately, I find his uh, CJ the Champ's video on uh, um, YouTube. And I immediately subscribed to it. And then I immediately end my subscription to the other person and their TikTok. I, I unfollow that TikTok. I unfollow that, that person's YouTube page. Because I was like, no, I'm not going to give you... I, I'm sorry. You may have directed me... You may have indirectly directed me to see Jaja Champ. But I'm not giving you any kind of attention. Like, it's one thing if a friend of mine happens to introduce me to a YouTube channel or TikTok, you know, or, or something. It makes sense. I mean, it's word of mouth. It's like, cool, cool, cool. But that's a whole nother thing when you're sitting there trying to get all these followers, all these views for yourself. And it feels like you're just siphoning off of the person who actually has the creativity to make the stuff that you like, that you know everybody else is going to like. I'm sorry. I'm not going to give you that, uh, 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 you know, 
I, I, I'm not going to fall for that thing anymore. And that's the same thing I feel about like most of these fake, fake Facebook profiles, fake Facebook things. You see so many multiples of each person. Yeah, there's a reason why certain people have to say they're the real this or that at this point. There's a reason why the initial went, you know, Twitter before Elon Musk decided to do a whole bunch of shit had the blue mark, the blue check marks, it was reasonable as to why you knew that this was the person who was making the videos or making the content that you want to get done with or you were to uh, engage with or uh, the influencer, which I hate influencers, but you know, or the YouTuber, the person creating content. I want to get to them, okay? That's it. Uh, it, 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 it. It upsets me so much. But, you know, and I feel like a lot more people need to be focused on it. Because, you know, Facebook isn't going to do anything. What do they care? They may, like, take action if you really are pretending to be a just taking random pictures, and they notice that that you know there's one real picture, and then there's one other one. But Facebook is not going to care. Neither is uh, 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 Twitter or X. They're not going to really care unless you say something really, really shitty. Looking at you, Elon Musk, about the whole Destiny thing, and you saying this is a free speech platform. Fuck that. I mean, I know what Destiny said was completely fucked up, but in all honesty, you can't sit... If you're going to talk about having a free speech platform, you can't say anything about this person saying some crazy fucking shit. Just saying. And I'm not a, I'm not a Trump supporter. I'm just saying. But I'm also not a freaking Democrat. I, I, I don't support the Democrats at the moment either, so... Take what you will from that. Don't ever call. If I don't choose to vote the Democrat, don't say I'm a Trump supporter. If I don't, if I don't choose to vote Republican, don't say I'm a Democrat. It does not work that way. I'm sorry. My vote towards somebody else that has nothing to do Democrat wise or Republican wise does not mean a vote for that per, for the opposite person, the the opposite of the two parties. Okay. That does not work. It means my vote was towards a person that I actually believe could possibly do something, make a change. Hence the reason why we vote in the first place. But anyways, regardless, like, X, Twitter is not going to do anything about it. YouTube definitely isn't going to do anything about it. Anything about it. And sometimes you can actually get the person that you're like, who's copying you. To actually call, uh, cause a copyright strike on you if they find out that you've actually ca caught on to their scheme of like, you know, siphoning views off of you. Just saying, YouTube, you need to fix that. Okay, you got to fix that whole copyright thing. A copyright strike, pull shit. If somebody's, if somebody's giving you some criticism, listen to them to their criticism and stop making it seem like they're just going to end your shit. Most YouTubers, most of these big YouTubers like Penguin Zero or Alvin and Breach, for example, they're not criticizing you to deplatform you. They're criticizing you to hopefully get you to do better in the future. That's it. Uh, but hopefully the sound on this is pretty good because I didn't put my earbuds in, but that's what I want to talk about, okay? Um, and that's the video right there. So, you know, take what you will from the video. If you like the video, like and share and subscribe. And also, be f feel free to check out my, my gaming channel. I'm pretty sure I have it in my, like, uh, description on the main page, of course. So, pretty sure I'll put a link there. But if I didn't, I'll go and put a link there. It's KR086 Gaming, okay? And if I... You know, when I get home, I'll re-edit this video probably. I don't know. But, till then, peace.